In 2014, the beauty industry witnessed the birth of ColourPop. It wasn't just another brand on the shelf, but a revolution in a compact case. ColourPop brought something new to the table high-quality makeup at prices that didn't break the bank. This approach wasn't just refreshing, it was groundbreaking. For the first time, luxury was made accessible, and everyone was invited to the party. From the very beginning, they understood something crucial. Beauty is for everyone. They didn't just sell makeup, they sold confidence, creativity, and the joy of expression. With each product launch, ColourPop wasn't just filling makeup bags, they were making statements, challenging norms, and setting trends. But as with any great story, challenges were inevitable. ColourPop's path wasn't always lined with rose-tinted lipsticks. They faced their share of hurdles, controversies, and market shifts. Today, as we look at ColourPop, we see a brand at a crossroads, balancing the tightrope of success and the winds of change. So join us as we delve deeper into the rise and fall of ColourPop. Stay tuned as we explore how ColourPop became a name synonymous with affordable luxury and what the future holds for this dynamic brand. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's turn the pages back to where it all began for ColourPop. The story of ColourPop starts not in a glamorous fashion studio, but in the unassuming corridors of Spatz Labs, a name that would lay the foundation for a beauty revolution. Spatz Labs, established in 1955, was not just another player in the makeup industry. It was a hub of innovation, a place where beauty products were crafted with care and foresight. Fast forward to 1989, and the lab caught the eye of an aerospace engineer named John Nelson. Nelson, a man with a vision for business, saw potential in this lab, a potential that went beyond the ordinary. Laura and John Nelson, the dynamic duo from the Nelson family, looked at Spatz Labs and saw an opportunity to create something extraordinary. They envisioned a brand that could break the norms and bring high-quality, affordable beauty products directly to consumers. This vision led to the birth of Seed Beauty, a brand incubator that would foster the growth of direct-to-consumer beauty brands. Seed Beauty was more than just a business venture. It was a game changer. Seed Beauty was set to carve a new path in an industry where big names dominated the shelves. And from this innovative incubator, ColourPop was born. ColourPop wasn't just another brand under Seed Beauty's wing, it was its crowning glory. ColourPop, with its roots in Spatz Labs, had a unique advantage. They could turn around products in record time, respond to market trends swiftly, and maintain quality while keeping costs low. This approach was unheard of in an industry used to long lead times and high costs. In 2014, ColourPop made its grand debut, not with a trickle, but with a splash of 31 vibrant eyeshadow shades. This wasn't just about quantity. Each shade was a statement of quality and affordability. ColourPop showed the world that luxury didn't have to come with a hefty price tag. These eyeshadows were more than just color. They were an invitation to experiment, express, and be bold. The secret behind ColourPop's rapid rise was its lean production model. This approach was all about efficiency and agility. Instead of mass-producing products and hoping they'd sell, ColourPop produced what was needed when needed. This meant no excess stock gathering dust or wasted resources, just fresh products resonating with the latest trends and customer desires. This lean model had several advantages. It allowed ColourPop to be nimble, responding quickly to changing market trends and customer feedback. It also meant lower costs, not just for ColourPop, but for their customers too. This approach was a win-win. It kept the brand relevant and customers satisfied. The impact of this strategy was clear and swift. Within just nine months of its launch, ColourPop had achieved what many brands dream of, they broke even. This was no small feat in an industry where new brands often struggle to find their footing. ColourPop's success in such a short time was a testament to their innovative approach and understanding of the market. From the outset, the brand leveraged digital platforms not just as tools for marketing and sales, but as integral parts of its identity. Their website wasn't just an online store, but a gateway for customers to immerse themselves in the ColourPop world. The user-friendly interface, vibrant product displays, and seamless shopping experience set a new standard in online cosmetic retail. But ColourPop's digital savvy extended beyond its website. The brand has been a trailblazer in using social media to connect with its audience. Platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook became stages for ColourPop to showcase its products, share beauty tips, 
and engage in real time with its customers. Each post, story, and tweet added to the narrative of a brand that's not just selling beauty products, but is a part of its customers' daily lives. The move into retail spaces marked a significant shift for ColourPop. Known for its strong online presence, the brand took a strategic step by entering renowned retail giants, Sephora and Ulta. This wasn't just about increasing their physical footprint, it was a move that would amplify their brand presence in the highly competitive beauty market. ColourPop's arrival in stores like Sephora and Ulta was more than just a new shelf space for their products. It was a validation of their brand, a sign that they were not just an online phenomenon, but a mainstream player in the beauty industry. This was a moment of triumph for a brand that started as an online-only entity, a testament to its growing influence and appeal. The impact of this expansion was multifaceted. First, it significantly boosted brand awareness. Being in these high-traffic retail environments meant that ColourPop could now reach customers who prefer to experience products in person before purchasing. It allowed the brand to create a tangible connection with its audience, letting them see, touch, and experience the products firsthand. Secondly, this move into retail spaces had a positive effect on sales. Being stocked in Sephora and Ulta, stores known for their curated selection of high-quality beauty products, ColourPop was placed in a new league. It opened avenues for new customers who might not have discovered them online. The presence in these stores also added a layer of credibility to the brand, attracting customers who associate physical retail presence with quality and reliability. However, it did not take long until ColourPop started getting into turbulent waters. First, let's talk about the Sculpting Sticks incident. ColourPop, known for its vibrant and inclusive product range, stumbled with the naming of its Sculpting Sticks. The darker shades were given names like Yikes and Typo, which struck a discordant note with customers. This misstep was more than just a naming error. It was a moment that questioned the brand's sensitivity towards its diverse consumer base. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, ColourPop took swift action. They changed the names and issued an apology, showing their commitment to inclusivity and respect for all customers. Soon after, they started getting legal tussles, even with Kylie Cosmetics. This lawsuit brought to light the intricate connections within the beauty industry. ColourPop and Kylie Cosmetics, both emerging from the same parent company, Seed Beauty, found themselves in a legal battle over the alleged sharing of trade secrets. The implications were significant, raising questions about brand individuality and the ethics of business practices. As ColourPop grew, so did the expectations of its customers. The brand, once celebrated for its high-quality products at affordable prices, began to receive feedback about a perceived decline in quality. This feedback wasn't just a few isolated voices, but a growing chorus of concerned customers. This was a wake-up call for a brand built on the promise of quality. It highlighted the delicate balance between rapid growth and maintaining the standards initially defining their success. Then came the issue of customer fatigue. ColourPop's strategy of frequent product releases, initially a key driver of its success, started to have a counterproductive effect. Customers began to feel overwhelmed by the constant influx of new products. This wasn't just about having more choices, but the challenge of keeping up with an ever-changing product line. A sense of saturation gradually replaced the excitement of new releases. For ColourPop, this was a signal to reassess their product launch strategy and find a pace that resonated with their customer base. Then, in an era where sustainability is increasingly at the forefront of consumer consciousness, ColourPop faced scrutiny over its environmental practices. The brand, known for its fast fashion approach to beauty, found itself at odds with a growing demand for eco-friendly practices. This was more than just about packaging or ingredients, it was about aligning with a global shift towards environmental responsibility. For ColourPop, addressing these concerns meant rethinking their approach and integrating sustainability into their business model. Confronted with the challenges of maintaining product quality, customer engagement, and environmental sustainability, ColourPop embarked on a journey of strategic adaptation. The brand recognized that to stay relevant and loved, it must evolve with its customers' needs and global trends. One of the key strategies involved addressing the concerns over product quality. ColourPop took a step back to reassess its production processes, ensuring that the rapid release of new products did not compromise the high standards they set at their inception. 
This involved a more thoughtful approach to product development, focusing on quality over quantity, ensuring that each new release met the expectations of its discerning customers. The potential for rebranding and focusing on sustainability marked a significant pivot in ColourPop's journey. The brand started to explore ways to integrate eco-friendly practices into its business model. This wasn't just about changing packaging materials or reformulating products. It was about a holistic approach to sustainability that resonated with the values of their environmentally conscious customers. ColourPop began to see sustainability not as a challenge, but as an opportunity to innovate and lead in the beauty industry. Today, maintaining customer engagement and diversity remains at the heart of ColourPop's strategy. The brand understands that its diverse customer base is its greatest strength. In response to the feedback and demands for greater inclusivity, ColourPop reinforced its commitment to diversity in its product range, marketing, and collaborations. They engage in open dialogues with their customers, listening to their voices, and making them an integral part of the brand's journey. This commitment to inclusivity and engagement is not just a response to a trend, it's a core part of ColourPop's identity. The future trajectory of ColourPop is a topic ripe with speculation. But one thing is clear, the brand stands at a crossroads where every decision will shape its journey. There's talk of further expansion, perhaps into new product lines or international markets. Understanding that beauty preferences vary widely across different regions, they are set to approach each market with a tailored strategy. This isn't just about shipping products overseas, it's about connecting with a global audience, understanding their unique beauty narratives, and integrating them into the ColourPop ethos. However, the journey into international markets comes with its set of challenges and successes. One significant challenge is product localization, ensuring their product range resonates with local beauty trends and preferences. For this, we will just have to wait and see how ColourPop navigates it. However, the success of this approach is seen in the enthusiastic reception of ColourPop products across various markets, proving that beauty is a language that transcends borders. Also, the prospects of digital innovation and e-commerce strategies for ColourPop are exciting. The brand is poised to explore new technologies like augmented reality for virtual try-ons, personalized beauty recommendations through AI, and enhanced mobile shopping experiences. The future might also see ColourPop tapping into emerging social platforms and experimenting with digital marketing strategies that continue to break the mold. That's all from this video. What do you think of ColourPop's products? Drop your comments below, and if you've enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Until our next adventure, let's think big, let's innovate.